All right, we're gonna do some Gaussian elimination because we've got this nasty system of equations here. Now, I wanna mention before we get started on this that the methods that we already talked about, substitution and elimination, still work with these. Now, you might think, well, then why do we need another system? Well, substitution and elimination get really, really gross as we start getting more and more equations and more and more variables. And basically, Gaussian elimination is elimination. They're the same thing. The only difference between Gaussian elimination and elimination is we do all of the steps we would normally do with elimination, but we do them in the form of a matrix. And all that basically does is it gets rid of all of our variables, okay? And especially when you've got a lot of different variables, that makes things a lot nicer to deal with. So um, I'm gonna do this in multiple parts. The first thing I wanna show you is how to take this and turn it into, a, um, uh, into an augmented matrix. That's the first step to doing Gaussian elimination. And it's pretty simple. Um, we just take the coefficients. So two, four, three, five, one, negative three, one, 24, two, negative one, four, 37. So we make this three by four matrix and we kind of put this artificial division right here to say, hey, this is our other stuff and these are our answers. Now, I'm not gonna do a problem like this, but I do wanna mention if for some reason you have a missing term like this, all that means is that you have a zero here, okay? Um, also, I wanted to mention that before you can do this, you have to get this equation in standard form. Standard form means it's x, y, z, and then our value. So you, you need to have your variables in a certain order, and then you need to have your constants over here, okay? So now that we have this um, augmented matrix, now we can start the process of Gaussian elimination.